Okay, so for this team, I just have three pets that all have moves which do extra damage if they go first when they attack. And that's pretty much it. The Ravager Hatchling hits really hard, the Flare Youngling's pretty good at interrupting your opponent with kick, and then dodging moves at deflection. It's actually like pretty nice. I didn't think it'd come in as handy as it did. And then I've got my Rabbit here just to dodge moves like crazy and go first with Flurry to try to take out Undeads but it doesn't really hit hard enough to kill them before they do their damage. Okay, so strategy for this team. Uh, I need my Ravenger for the Hydraline. The other two pets can do the other stuff. I'm gonna start off with my Ravenger though, just in case he starts off with the Hydraline. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is rend until Shell Armor comes up. Because once Shell Armor's up, I have to switch to Rampage. And he's gonna be able to hit me hard with that Call Lightning. Ooh, damn it, if it just hit a little bit harder, I'd get in my racial right now. Okay, I should be able to hit him pretty hard right here with my racial. Ah, oh, damn it, still not hard enough. <laughs> okay, shell armor's gone. Which means I should be able to kill him with my other guys. Okay, Ravenger didn't score the kill, but he did well enough. Come on, third hit, third hit, third hit. Oh, you, ah. Oh. Damn it, Flare. If you just got off that third hit. <laughs> okay, so we've got the hatchling, huh? My, ooh. I'm gonna have to go into my rabbit. Go into a dodge, even though I'm not faster than him. Okay, so I totally blanked it on this guy. He's totally faster than my pets, too. Which means I have to get him down really slowly. <laughs> I probably should have just stuck into my flare. Ah, oh, shit, and he has a heal, too. This is not good. First ability sucks though. Erg. He's getting off two hits on it consistently though. And he can heal up in one more turn. Okay, looks like he's flying. <laughs> I really could use my Ravenger against this guy too. That didn't happen. He's gonna heal up again. This is. Pretty much a loss, except I don't want to call it yet because Slicing Wind is pretty bad. And all I have to do is get him down a little bit more. And he's below 50% health. Oh, he's did it. Now I can interrupt him and get off a nice little hit. Okay. Now all I have to do is out predict his Abyssal like crazy. <laughs> Come on, go into a meteor strike. We got this. Come on, Flare. Comeback time. <gasps> oh my god, he's actually going into a meteor strike. Is this guy stupid? Did he not know I have deflection? This is great. Now I'm going to get off another free interrupt. Oh my god, this is like, probably, if I win this, this is going to be like the biggest comeback ever. Damn. He... <laughs> I thought for sure I lost that, and then the Flare Hatchling totally just... Oh. Okay, that was great. I was actually like two seconds away from quitting out on that, and then the Flare Hatchling totally came back and just won that for me. Okay, I'm glad I, I server hopped to try to get this guy. <laughs> Alright, for this one I can probably start off with high EQ since I have a pretty good chance of being able to dodge that haunt while doing a lot of damage. There goes the Curse of Doom, and here goes my dodge. For the very predictable haunt that's about to miss. And then let's go into some more flurries. Against an Abyssus, I, I can actually sit down on this. I'll make sure to burrow when Curse of Doom is about to go off. 
<laughs> okay, Burrow this turn. Not really sure what the switch was all about. I mean, I, I get it that he's trying to set up a lot of dots right now, but... Holy crap, I'm taking a lot of dot damage. <laughs> Let's see, even if I dodge right now, the Scorch Brother's gonna kill me, so I need to go into a, a flurry while I still can. And then he's just gonna refresh Death and Decay, huh? All right, I'm gonna go into Flare Youngling. That way I can deflection anything he does this turn. Just in case he decides to try to go for a, a YOLO Nocturnal Strike. Still get hit by Scorched Earth though. All right, I'm gonna go for a kick. No Curse of Doom for you. And then some nice little blitzes. I should probably switch out right now. Uh, I can't switch out now. I have too many dots rolling. Oh, come on, you were so close. <laughs> All you needed was one more hit, and that blitz would have totally gone off. All right, ideally, I want to save my deflection for when this is about to go off. But I don't really have the luxury of being able to do that. I might be able to get off a kick. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, I totally thought he only had like two dots he could use, but now he totally just proved that wrong. Okay, at least my pet with all the dots on him is dead, I guess. Now he has is an unborn Valk, which I can kill pretty easily, and I'm pretty safe for these next two turns, unless he gets like. He hits on the high end on two Shadow Shocks and they both crit. Otherwise, I'm totally fine. I'm just gonna pass. No need to waste some time. Are you gonna go for one more Shadow Shock to try to see if it'll crit? And then both Scorched Worth and Death and Decay will both crit, in which case I might die, but not likely. Or are you just gonna time out out of rage because you lost to my unconventional team with not a single tier one pet? with your tier one pet, and yeah, he just timed out. Rage quit. Okay, that was a nice win.